Hey everybody, this is Maya Good, and this is an update because it is the last week of August, which means da 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 da. It's time to get going, get planning, get thinking about National Novel Writing Month. Um, I have some really big news. I'm really excited. I am going to be one of the municipal liaisons for National Novel Writing Month for my county this year, which is something I've never done, and I'm super excited about it because National Novel Writing Month has literally changed my life. And to be able to give back before I leave the county, and the fact that my county hasn't had a municipal liaison in several years is huge. I'm going to have a co-liaison, which is great because it's the first time I've done anything like this, and the same thing for my co. And afterwards next year I'm going to be traveling so I don't know where I'm going to be next year during National Novel Writing Month but I kind of like the idea of doing like an expat National Novel Writing Month wherever I'm at so that's this is like a good way to like plan and learn how to do that um and really just be able to give back so as a municipal liaison I feel like I need to step up my channel you noticed I haven't had a lot of videos up here in the past month. My computer is dying. It's on its last legs. But I am having some really happy things happening over the next month. So I'm going to have a new computer in a couple weeks. That means that I am spending the next two weeks planning two series of National Novel Writing Month writing videos. One series is going to be on planning your novel. And that series is going to come out in October. The second series is going to be a quick start guide to Scrivener. So rather than the in-depth videos that you get you, at, with the Scrivener vlogs, I mean the Scrivener videos, they're going to be the essentials that you need to know to get up and going if you've never touched Scrivener before. It'll be helpful for new people, but also I know a lot of people try out Scrivener the first time during National Novel Writing Month. And Scrivener has a little bit of a learning curve, but you don't need all the features to get going on Scrivener for National Novel Writing Month. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a video on that. And I may actually also do a video on Aeon Timeline, depending on how long I have. I'm going to try to get them all recorded in September and then do that. In addition, I have some videos already recorded of journal reviews. Um, I have a two Tamo River, Tamo River journal review videos, and I have the Midori... Um, MD, I think, one second, I'm like, which, which journal is this? I have so many journals, I can't remember them all. Yeah, MD, I have um, a, re a video recording of the MD, and they're big enough that I'm waiting until my computer just stops acting up. This video, I'm actually uploading through my phone, and it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So expect the journal videos to come out in two weeks, once I get my new computer, and really really be on the lookout for October because I'm going to have some really great content in October I'm I know I ramble I talk too much so one of the things that's taking so long to plan is maybe if I kind of script things I can get the videos shorter because it'd be nice if I could have a series of videos under 10 minutes for for people that don't want to sit for an hour and a half watching me brainstorm my novel like last year I can't believe people actually list, watched that stuff last year. Oh, which reminds me, I did pull all those videos. I pulled them because the novel, the rough draft novel that came out of those videos is actually good enough that that's a novel that I'm working on polishing to hopefully submit as my first novel. And I want to traditionally publish that novel. And it will be easier to traditionally publish that novel if I don't have the entire plot splattered all over the internet. So, yeah. Things are happening. It's pretty exciting. Um, it's been a really long few weeks, you know, with a computer on its last leg, my daughter going to college, my son starting senior year of high school. It's just bam, 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 bam. I, I'm looking at getting a couple more clients for freelance work, and I've been working on a website for one of my clients. It's just a lot happening all at once. But I'm finally starting to see a little bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. And let me tell you, that light is looking really awesome right now. So... I guess that's my way of saying I am doing National Novel Writing Month this year. Um, as far as my own personal project, because I am a municipal liaison, I have to. And originally I wasn't planning on it because I have so much rewriting to do on past. But there's a story that's been niggling in the back of my head and I'm actually not sure if I'm capable of doing it. 
Um, and so I think I'm going to experiment with that for National Novel Writing Month. And it's probably going to be pretty crappy, but that's okay. I need to do a lot of reading. Um, I'm going to be rereading Ra Waiting for Godot and try to read maybe some Faulkner. I need to get a handle on writing where you have only two people in one location, hence Waiting for Godot. And, um, and I, there's a novel, another novel that's like that. I would like to get through before National Novel Writing Month. And then also I would like to explore books where there's a lot of, um, stream of consciousness. I have some stream of consciousness writing in past, but this particular idea, I think it's going to have quite a bit of it. And so I kind of want to explore that. I don't think it's going to have as much as past and past stream of consciousness really isn't because her mind is fractured. So like she's talking to herself and herself aren't always herself, but for this book, I think there may be some places where I want to do fiddle with some stream of, stream of consciousness stuff. So that's going to be really fun. Um, you know, last year it was really serious and I planned this novel with the idea going that it was going to be my first novel. This novel, I think I want to plan it with the idea of this is just to play because I've been working on so many projects, preparing them for publication, sending out short stories, getting rejections, re-editing, sending them out again. I think it might be good to just have a project where I just play in the paints for a while. So that's going to be what my National Novel Writing Month is going to be for this year. I look forward to all the, I look forward to the new computer. Let me tell you, when that, when I get my money and I'm able to pay some bills and pay off some debts and get a new computer, I swear it's going to be like the sky opens up and the angels are singing because it's just going to be, I've just been struggling for way too long. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Ciao. <laughs>